name is Gabe Zona. This is the 21st of January 2019. Article on NBC News. Report finds another undisclosed North Korean missile site. Says there are 19 more. The Kim regime has never admitted the existence of Sino Ri missile operating base. A new report says it's one of many undisclosed sites. Hmm. Written by Courtney Kubes, that's K-U-B-E, and Carol E. Lee, that's L-E-E. -E. This was updated on the 21st of January 2019. Washington, with a second U.S.-North Korean nuclear summit looming in February, researchers have discovered a secret ballistic missile base in North Korea. One of as many of 20 undisclosed missile sites in the country, according to the researchers' new report. Hmm. Well, can you blame Kim? He knows what the United States has done to other world leaders, like Gaddafi in Libya, and what they're trying to do to the Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad. The Kim regime has never disclosed the existence of Sino Re missile operating base to the outside world. Ballistic missiles are the primary delivery mechanism for North Korean nuclear warheads. The report from Beyond Parallel, a project sponsored by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a defense think tank, was released Monday and comes after announcement Friday that President Donald Trump looks forward to meeting with Chairman Kim Jong-un next month at a place to be announced at a later date. The White House did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The North Koreans are not going to negotiate over things they don't disclose, said Victor Cha, one of the authors of the report. It looks like they're playing a game. They're still going to have all this operational capability, even if they destroy their disclosed nuclear facilities. Cha says that the base is clearly a mainstay of their strategic missile force, but there are no indications it is part of any discussions on denuclearization. Situated about 130 miles north of the DMZ, Shinri Missile Operating Base houses the headquarters of the Korean People's Army Strategic Rocket Forces Missile Brigade, a unit responsible for ballistic missiles. The base has been central to developing ballistic missiles that are capable of reaching South Korea, Japan, and even Guam, according to the report. You can actually click and there's a copy of the report. Beyond parallel research has estimated North Korea has 20 undisclosed sites where it continues to develop its ballistic missile program. Shinri is one of the oldest of those sites, but it is still operational today. Satellite photos dated December 27, 2018, show an entrance to an underground bunker, hardened shelters, in a headquarters area. According to Beyond Parallel, the underground bunkers have rocks and dirt berms in front that appear to protect them from artillery fire and airstrikes. The base is just under seven square miles in size. Shinri is supported by two nearby facilities, the Sobayak SU University Academy and Moju San Training Area. The Sobek SU Academy was established in the late 1950s or 1960s in artillery officer's school and expanded in the following decades, becoming a ballistic missile school early in the century, according to the report. The school not only educates strategic rocket forces officers, but may also conduct research on ballistic missile design and operation. The report says satellite photos show buildings suspected to hold barracks and classrooms, vehicle storage facilities, and an entrance to an underground facility. The Mayo Dusan training area sits less than a mile from the academy and may serve as a training facility for both the Sinyo Missile Base and the academy. Chao, a former National Security Council official based in Asian affairs, focused on Asian affairs, agreed that the trip to Beijing was a sign Kim is ready for the next meeting. This happened last time too. Kim Jong-un has more leverage in the meeting if he's just met with the Chinese, Chow said, adding the Chinese want to make sure that they see Kim before he has another meeting with the U.S. too. 
that Trump administration tapped Chow as ambassador to South Korea, but his nomination was withdrawn in early 2008 because of policy disagreements. On Sunday, Trump tweeted about a possible second summit, saying he is looking forward to meeting with Chairman Kim at the end of February. Trump also wrote, quote, the media is not giving us credit for the tremendous progress we've made with North Korea, end of quote. But a former senior U.S. official briefed on the current negotiations says administration officials and American allies in the region are nervous that Trump will give up a lot without getting much. If anything, during the upcoming summer with Kim, those concerns have escalated since Trump's Syria announcement on troop withdrawals after speaking with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey. Japanese officials, in particular, are extremely nervous. They're incredibly uncomfortable, the former official said. They anticipate Trump could agree to international sanction relief, a liaison office in Pyongyang, an uh, end of era of war declaration, the official said, adding that North Korean officials have told Secretary of State Mike Pompeo they want sanction relief, but the end of war declaration is not as much of a priority. Some Trump administration officials and U.S. allies are nervous because there is still so little known about what Kim and Trump talked about when he met in Singapore last year. Only the interpreters know the officials said. I don't think the president is telling anyone what he told him, the foreign officials said, so the North Koreans can use that to tell American negotiators whatever they want, what Trump said. Trump said in July via tweet, that the recent lack of North Korean missile launches is a sign that his approach is working. You want to read the rest of the article. Uh, it's uh, most interesting. We'll see how this thing unfolds. Like I said, Kim Jong-un knows what America has done to other world leaders, which is why I don't think he'll ever totally disarm. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.